Goa has accepted and rightly so now for many years that the language of instruction at primary level should be in Goa, should be Konkani or Marathi. Konkani is the language of the people here, official language. Marathi is the literary language of a very large section of our people. The diocesan society of education should shift from teaching primary education in the English medium to either Konkani and Marathi. That's what they must do. Why is you are saying this? The level of education, quality of education in government official primary schools is not very high. And therefore, somewhere around July 2006, the state government appointed a committee under chairmanship of Professor Madhav Kamal, you see, to suggest ways and means to improve the quality of education in the schools uh, of the government at the primary level. Madhav Kamat committee submitted the report in November 2006 and made two types of recommendations. One to be done as soon as possible, others to be done very quickly and preferably before the next academic year which academic, next academic year was uh, uh, June 2007. before next academic year, well, 2007 or 2017, now we are in 2018. Most of the recommendations have not been implemented up to now. Now, one of the recommendations was that, uh, you see, one teacher schools should not be there. I know, and you will know in your own villages, there are schools with only one teacher, government school. They are teaching Kokni or Marathi. Sometimes he is teaching both, Kokni and Marathi. Four classes in Kokni, four classes in Marathi. <coughs> that is absolutely impossible. You see, you have been in schools yourself. You have never seen things have gone worse than they, than they were now. You see, than they were before. And therefore, the Madhav Committee recommended one teacher schools should not be there. Minimum should be two teachers. Because uh, you see, otherwise it is not possible. It has not been up to now in my own village. In my own village, my own village of Raya, I have seen. You see, I go and visit teaching all of them. And very often the teacher is not there. Gone with some or another. Other recommendation of Madhav Kamat Committee was that uh, all no extracurricular or outside the school activities or uh, you see should be uh, imposed on the teachers. Teachers are there to teach and to teach only. Exception was made in case of election at the polling time. Only for polling, not at polling time the teachers can be deputed. On that day. On that day only. So therefore this is also not implemented. Then all vacancies of teachers should be fulfilled. Just one of your newspapers reported about three, four days ago, 130 vacancies of teachers are still not, not, not filled. Then he provided so many other things. Not, uh, there should not be two teachers teaching in the same classroom. And all these things I have seen. <coughs> I have visited schools in Salset Taluka, I can say, my own area. And all these things, uh, Defects are there in unfortunate government primary school and unfortunately are the children. So uh, it said that two teachers cannot teach in the same room, same classroom. I have seen them teaching not only in the same classroom and in the middle, in the middle there are all of the sack of food grains for midday meals. Children sitting on the floor, all four Marathi, four Kokani, teachers sitting there. It's a confusion. So this should not happen. Two teachers should not teach in the same room. This is what recommendation was of the Madhav Kamath Committee. It's still not implemented. And I have given mention some other things in my statement, which have not been done. Not that other things have been done, but these have not been done at all. And therefore, it is extremely serious and it is a tragedy that what was supposed to be done within about six months from November to June, November 2006 to June, <coughs> 2007 when the school opened.
has not been done up to now. And we are now here in June 2018, 10 years, 11 years later. Education is, should be a primary concern of government. Education and health are the main concerns of the people and should be the main concern of the government. At every level, but here I am only talking about the Madhav Kamath Committee report not implemented, should be implemented in a war footing. Tanit Mulle should be implemented in a war footing and should be done. Look at this is all there in my statement. On the 18th, my dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrated the Goa Freedom Day. You see the Goa Revolution Day. On that day, on the 18th of June, 1946, <coughs> Dr. Ramanoha Loya came to Goa on invitation of his friend and colleague, Dr. Julio Menezes. They came to Goa and addressed a meeting there in Madagam. You see that now on the ground that is now known as Lohya Maidan. Addressed a meeting calling for freedom for Goa, freedom from colonial rule. This was in 1946. These are great people. Freedom fighters we cannot forget. We cannot forget the struggle, the brilliant struggle, and uh, you see, for freedom. Uh, struggle for freedom is a thing which should not be forgotten. And we should learn the lesson from it and from our freedom fighters. How they sacrifice their life. How many are people are there now? For a cause. And for the cause of freedom. Freedom not for only for themselves, for the whole Goa, for the whole India. They did that. And it was in the reverence to them that I, in some years ago, 2000, in 2011, 2011, 19th of December, was the 50th, the, 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 the golden jubilee of our independence, of our liberation. 2011, uh, 20, uh, on 19th of December. I arranged for a portrait of Dr. Tristan Bragado de Cunha, and that portrait was unveiled in the Central Hall of Parliament by the Prime Minister of India, in the presence of leader of opposition. Uh, Adwani was there, LK Adwani and Sushma Twaraj were there. Leader of opposition in Lok Sabha, was, uh, they, they were there. Then the Speaker of, of Lok Sabha uh, and other leaders were Congress President, all our three MPs from Goa and other MPs were there. And this portrait of uh, Dr. Tristan Braganza de Cunha is now in Parliament along with the portraits of Gandhiji, of Dr. Ambedkar here, of Pandit Nehru, and all the leaders, national leaders. That, that is very important. That, that's why it's there in the Central Hall of Parliament. They are all displayed there. I have written to our speaker here of uh, the Goa Assembly, you see, and I put the letter there, huh? copy of the letter is there, written to the Speaker of the Goa Assembly to in 30th November 2012, to similarly, as they do in Parliament, display in Parliament the photos and the portraits of national leaders, in our Assembly, they should display the photos and, <coughs> and, port and portraits of the leaders of Goa's freedom struggle. You see the letter there on my statement, copy I got, let Letter dated 7 December 2012. Mr. Rajendra Arvlekar, the Speaker of our Assembly, wrote to me, Thank for your letter dated November 13, 2012, suggesting for display of the portrait of Dr. P.B. Dakuna and also other leaders of our freedom movement in the Goa Assembly premises. Then, uh, Mr. Rajan Arlekar said, already the issue is under my consideration and necessary steps will be taken in the matter. This was in 7 December 2012. Eight, almost eight, I think, uh, six years <coughs> are there. Nothing has been done. This should be done. It's very important to keep it for freedom and for values, not for personal benefit. So this is very important for all of us, for all citizens, for all human beings. Let us begin with the Goans by having this. Then Dr. Tristan Bragas de Cunha, they had, they had also his writings about freedom and the struggle for freedom. 
both of them also compiled and and uh, and were published in 1961 under the caption 61 itself Goa Freedom Struggle name of the book that book now is out of print it should be reprinted and <coughs> circulated among our students by high school high school and uh, college again for the same reason these values are what make a human being a human being is not eating and <coughs> and uh, you see making uh, all types of things this is the value system which is important for all of us for all human being everywhere let us begin with goa and get this book reprinted there was a gentleman here mr pushottam kakurkar who also suffered a lot for the cause of goa freedom was in prison was arrested was in jail for many many years and all alone he did that so uh, in uh, 2011 I asked the government of India, the minister who was there, to to sanction a a, a annual lecture, Pushpam Kakura lecture, a memorial lecture every year on freedom struggle and value system and value system, which was sanctioned, approved by uh, University Grants Commission, uh, and the University Grants Commission approved that, and for three years Goa University had this lecture continuously. Then it was discontinued. Why was it discontinued? We don't know. <coughs> it should be restarted. This is a very important thing. Value system is a very important thing. Should be restarted. So this is what I have got to say, uh, lady and gentlemen. Thank you. Mm -hmm.